Hello and welcome to NLP Mastery Series. In the previous video, I have showed you the meaning and the basic concepts of the pre-trained word embeddings and we had a quick introduction to the most used pre-trained embeddings. In this video, I would like to cover how to demonstrate the most used word embeddings in natural language processing. I am Joseph Simitson. Let's begin. I am using Squark NLP, but you are uh, you don't need to uh, actually the exact and the detail of the codes. Just let me show you something and get family getting familiar with the usage of the pre-trained word embeddings. So, in any NLP task, we take task and after that in the pipeline we convert it to documents and we have to separate the sentences and we take the document and as an output, we, we have sentences. And after that, we separate the sentence into tokens here, okay? And in this pipeline, you can see that I used all embeddings that I mentioned just now and glow embedding, uh, for example, it is the birth embeddings and glow embeddings, fast text and Elmo. Okay, we take we take sentence and tokens, and as an output, we have bird embeddings. And in the same way, sentence token, we have glow embeddings, sentence token, and fast text embeddings, and so on, Elmo embeddings. Okay, so let's. And by the way, as you can see. Uh, for example, the BERT version, the embedding ver embeddings version that I downloaded, you can see the size, 139 megabytes. And the global embeddings, the size of the global embeddings is huge, 2.3 gigabytes. And M embeddings, or 334.1 megabytes. Okay. So, uh, the sentence that I pass into the pipeline is this. Spoken LP is an open source text processing, blah, blah. Yes, this is our tasks, uh, text, sorry. Okay, let's see the word vectors of the each tokens. And yeah, uh, yes, it, it's, it looks some messy, but let's, go to the pandas version yeah yeah it, it is the embeddings uh, data frame that i created for you and yeah this is the word spark and we have tokens per rows and each columns as you can see we have embeddings vectors so in this cell we have a vector and uh, it represents the word spork. And this is the global word vectors. And this is Facebook. I mean, fast text, and this is Elmo. So let's check the length of this embedding. For example, if we, if we try to learn the first cell, I mean, the length of the uh, vectors of, of the spork, and as you can see, the length of the uh, word embeddings is a 768. Cool. Only the word spork can be represented by 768 float numbers. Okay, let's see the vector here yes this is the embeddings vector of the spark sorry yeah it consists of 768 float numbers inside this vector very huge right okay 
And if we go to and check the glow embeddings of the spark, the word spark, and you can see that the length of this vector is 300. And if we take a look at the fast tags, it is also a 300 long word vectors. Yes, if we try to display the vectors, yes. This is the length of this list, then the float numbers list uh, is 300. Sorry for that. Okay, cool. And as the last embeddings, the Elmo embeddings, the length of the vector of the Elmo embeddings is of 512. Very cool. And I would like to draw your attention to, to here. For example, we have a four, the word four, and we have another word four here. And if you, let me zoom in a little bit. If you take a look at, if you take a look at uh, this one and this one, you can see that these embeddings and these embeddings are different. It starts from this one, the first one I mean, start from 0 0.6 something, and the other one is starting by 0 0.4 something. So this is a context aware, okay? And the, uh, the, apart from the birds and Elmo, the Glove and fast text is a, a strict, I mean, the store not vector and the, the, the embeddings for, uh, for the for the word for is the same in all sentences and in all texts. Okay, let me show you, as you can see. Okay, this is the word for, and this is Glove, you can see the embeddings are the same. And this is fast text and the same embeddings for the, 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 the word for. Okay, and let's try it another text. Let me show you again here. Yes, in this case, we have another sentence, protect money case first, in case of fire and I can open a can by myself. So I use here the word case and here again case, but the meaning of these words, of course, are different. And the same thing here, the can and the other can, word can. So let's see the embeddings and it is different or not, I mean the Elmo and birds. Let's take a quick look at. Okay, if we focus on the case here and here, let me zoom in again a little bit. Okay, case and case, yeah, this is starting from 0 0.2 and the other, the minus 0 0.1. Yes, this is different. And the, the the far right column here is Elmo. So if we take a look at uh, minus 0 0.5 and this is minus 0 0.5. Yes, these are the same. The Elmo uh, doesn't work here good enough. And let's take a look at the words can here, if you take a look at here, we have can and another can, and yes, these are different. And let's take a look at the Elmo. And yes, they are different too. Cool, Elmo works here. Okay, and if we take a look at the Glove and 
fast text, the word embeddings, I mean the vector of the can, the word can are the same. Okay. And as a last thing, let me show you something here. Where it is a representation demo designed by uh, the Google. I mean the TensorFlow. This is uh, embedding projector, and you can reach. You can open uh, by this link projector.tensorflow.org and this is something uh, amazing that represents the embedding universe and in this uh, video uh, there are 10,000 words I mean 10,000 tokens and the dimension of the vector each vector uh, is 200 the dimension is 200 and the size of the token is 10,000 here. So if we click on something on the screen and zoom again, for example, if you click on this, you can see at the uh, right side of the screen, we have some uh, work here, 20, 30, 50, 15. Yes, the, uh, I mean the, uh, words that are close to each other in meaning and the concepts are closer to each other in in points the position in in embedding sense space yes they are calculated by cousin similarity and the position in the universe are closer to each other if we click on something else uh, the difference here, I mean here, yeah. And in this position, I mean the location in, in the in the universe, a three-dimensional universe. And if we take a look at the words uh, on the right side again, we have psychological, behavioral, anxiety, clinical, metabolic. Yeah, the meaning and the concept are closer to each other. Cool. Okay. In this video, I have tried to show you how we work with the actual word vectors produced by the most used pre-trained embeddings models. I will be covering NLP tasks in the next videos. Stay tuned with Clarisweb. Goodbye.